गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व द टेंथ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 5.1 ओके एंड टेंथ क्वेश्चन व्हाट इट कंटेंस ऑल ऑफ यू सी हियर इंडिकेट व्हिच पेयर्स ऑफ एंगल्स आर वर्टिकल अपोजिट एंगल्स एंड सेकंड क्वेश्चन इज लीनियर पेयर सी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हियर वर्टिकली वर्टिकली अपोजिट एंगल्स वर्टिकली अपोजिट एंगल्स सी एज ए टोल्ड बिफोर इन एज ए टोल्ड बिफोर इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वर्टिकली अपोजिट एंगल्स आर फॉर्म वेन टू साइड्स द इंटरसेक्ट ईच अदर लाइक दैट एंड दिस एंगल दिस एंगल सो बोथ दीज आर अ पेयर ऑफ वर्टिकली अपोजिट एंगल्स एंड दिस एंगल दिस एंगल सो बोथ दीज आर वर्टिकली अपोजिट एंगल स्टूडेंट्स हियर ओके एंड सी हियर इन दिस फिगर what are the vertical opposite angles here angle 1 and angle 4 angle 1 and angle 4 so both these are angle 1 and angle 4 so this is a first pair of vertically opposite angle and second second uh, this 1 and 4 and this uh, so this is a first pair of vertically opposite angle and second one Angle five and angle five and two plus three. Angle two plus angle three. Understood, students? See this angle, this angle five, and from here to here, this angle and both these angle two plus three. So both these, including both these, they form a vertically opposite angle to that of fifth angle, students. Understood? So this is the solution for the first question. See the second question here. What they are saying? Second question: linear pair. So line, linear pair means two adjacent supplementary angles are called linear pair. See here, this one and five. Both these are one and five. Both these angles they are a linear pair because both these angles are. adjacent angles and both these angles are these are the supplementary angles and come to the here 4 and 5 see students here this 4 and 5 this angle and this angle both these are adjacent angles and both these are the supplementary angles okay so it means so first pair linear pair linear pair first one is angle 1 and angle 5 and second one is angle 5 and angle 4 so this is the solution for the uh, 11th question students see the 12th one students all 11th one students all of you see here in the following figure angle 1 adjacent to angle 2 so this angle 1 adjacent to angle 2 give reasons so here to become a adjacent what is the condition students both the angles should be both the angles should should have A common vertex and common arm. So here, let me name this uh, figure A, B, C, D like this, friends. C. First angle is which one? A, B, C. Angle A, B, C. And second angle is which one? That is B, C, D. Angle B, C, D. Okay. See here. In this angle, in in both these angle, B, C is a common. It is okay. Common arm is there, but in this in in both this angle there is no common vertex, students. Vertex means this point. So to become adjacent angles, we we should have we sh uh, to become a uh, um, to become adjacent angles. The given two angles fulfill two reasons. So what are those uh, reasons? First one is that. they have must should have common arm and common vertex but both these angles they have common arm but they don't have a common vertex here so therefore the angle one and angle angle two both these are not a adjacent angle students here okay solution so angle one and angle two both these both these are both these are not adjacent not adjacent angles because because these angles have these angles have 
कॉमन आर्म बट नॉट कॉमन वर्टेक्स ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस इज द सोल्यूशन फॉर द इलेवेंथ वन स्टूडेंट्स See the twelfth, twelfth problem, students. All of here, this twelfth question contains total two problems. Okay, so here I am going to solve the second one and first problem. It is a homework for all of you. So what we have to do here is all of you students here find the values of the angles x, y, and z in each of the following. Here in the given problem, we have to find the values of x, y, z. See students here first. Uh, if this forty, this this angle and this angle, both these are a uh, Equal, both these are equal angles because both these are vertically opposite angles. So vertically opposite angles, they are equal each other. Okay, so solution, solution, angle Z is equal to forty degree because here we have to write the reason vertically, vertically opposite. Vertically opposite angles. Okay, so here we found the value of Z. Next, see students here. This uh, see the next one here. Just some students here. This uh, this line not comes here, students. Okay, so this no, this line not comes. Okay, and up to here. So this is a Y. Okay, and here this Y and Z. So this y and z. Let me uh, make a reciprocal. This one. See here. This y and z. Okay. So this y and z. Both these are uh, supplementary angles. Okay. See here. This y and z. This angle and this angle. Both these are uh, vertical. Uh, sorry. So both these angles are supplementary angles because both these angles they are adjacent and both these are uh, supplementary angles because sum of both these angles how much it is a uh, 180 degree so therefore angle z plus angle y is equal to 180 degree because because supplementary because supplementary angles because supplementary angles next angle z is how much they given here angle z is 40 degree okay now here if we have to find the value of angle Y okay, so angle Y is equal to one hundred eighty degree. Shift this forty along that equal sign it becomes minus. Okay, so angle Y is how much it is? How much becomes it is a one forty degree. Now we found here the value of Z, and here we found the value of Y, and next here we have to find the value of X students here. See here. So so uh, you consider this figure students. X twenty five and Z. So what type of uh, uh, angles all these are? These are nothing but supplementary angles. X plus twenty five plus Z is equal to one eighty degree students. Okay. See students here. That is X angle X plus twenty five degree plus Z is equal to one eighty degree. Okay. So angle X here we have to find na right. So therefore write as it is. This twenty five degree also write as it is. So angle Z is how much it is? Angle Z it is a forty degree. Okay. So angle X right. Uh, angle X here we have to find na. So write as it is twenty five degree also write as it is. Angle Z is how much it is? Angle Z it is a forty degree na. So one eighty degree. So angle X plus add both these how much comes? Sixty five degree comes. Okay. 180 degree and angle x is equal to 180 degree shift to that is 65 along that equal sign it becomes minus so angle x how much it becomes it becomes 115 degree 115 degree so this is these are the, this is the solution for the second problem of uh, 12th question students here the value of x is how much 115 degree Value of y one one forty degree and value of z is how much it is a value of z is how much it is a forty degree. Okay, friends. So these are the solution for the twelfth question. 
so i hope all of you understood all these problems and in the, as i told before in the 12th question one problem the first problem it is a homework for all of you okay so in the next video i am going to meet you thank you have a nice day